So a lot of people check out my videos, they see charts like this and they just think, ah, I can never do that, that's way too advanced. I promise you absolutely can do it. There's just like five core steps that I take to do this. So when you drop a chart in, it typically looks something like this. The first thing I do, I drop out my fill, I drop out my line. Those are the, the outline and the fill behind it. We wanna just be working with the chart itself. We don't wanna have a background. If you wanna have a background, do it with a shape under the insert tab, go insert shape and use that as the background for your chart. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure our font has enough contrast that we can read it. So I'm gonna just change these to white so that we can actually read them properly. Next Next thing I do is I look for any super high contrast elements that might be distracting. These grid lines here on this chart, I think are a little too bright. So to fix that, we just go in, turn the transparency up a little bit. And sometimes I like to just do a dashed grid line because I think it kind of looks nice and it helps it sink into the background a little better. If you want to have titles in your charts, don't actually put them in the chart itself. Instead, insert them as a text box separately. This is just going to give you a little flexibility to move them around the page. It's just, it's so much more convenient and it's going to make it way easier when you're trying to get the little details of your layout fixed. So next we're going to talk about colors. If you're choosing colors and you don't know where to start, check if your company has a design guide, that sort of thing. Those can sometimes give you good guidelines to get started. If not, you can also see if you have any PowerPoint templates. You can copy paste elements over from PowerPoint. PowerPoint if you want to get the color palette. Last but not least, if you're just going from scratch, what I suggest you do is click into one series in your chart, find a color you like and add it in there. And then using the color wheel, rotate around the color wheel a little bit and just get a few distinct colors that are different enough that you can easily distinguish between them in your chart. Like I said, just rotating around the color wheel like this. And if you want a more monotone design, instead you can just move this little slider left and right just far enough that you can tell the difference between each color in each series. Go through the fill options for your charts and try out each one separately and see what you like. It's also important to know that you can change each series of your chart independently just by clicking into it. One little note on this double pie chart you see behind me, I've created visual distinction between these by taking the outer chart and just increasing the transparency of each color a little bit so you can tell the two apart. My general principle here is over explain versus under explain. So adding lots of labels, even adding in little guidelines like you see here to point to things, I think is really helpful for people who maybe aren't as familiar with your data as you are. And before you know it, we've got something pretty cool looking here. So so the two most important skills. The first one is color palettes. Take the time to learn how to use colors a little more effectively. Do a little practice. You can even do a YouTube tutorial just to get more comfortable choosing colors. The second is learning how to customize every single element of your chart. The easiest way to learn how to do this is to click into your charts, go to the design tab, go to add chart element, try adding each element, and then when it's added, click into it and look at all of the customization options that you have. This is the easiest way to kind of understand what the capabilities are in Excel, and you'll very quickly kind of get up to speed and have a better sense of what's possible using these charts. Anyway, thanks so much everybody. Hope that helps. Have a good one. Bye.